Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Arena. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add an info box area to an image without the use of any line of CSS code or additional plugin. So at the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to create something that looks like this. So when you're over here, nothing happens. But as soon as you come over over here, you can see more information about that particular image. And when you take away the cursor, it goes back. So without further delay, let's dive in and get started. So in our Elementor editing screen, the first thing we're going to do here is uh, we're just going to come here. Let's add a structure. And let's select the structure here okay and then let's come over to the content width and set the width to full width and for the minimal height let's change the unit from pixel to vh and give it a value of 100. now let's come over here let's justify content to the center and align item to the center all right and then let's come over here let's change the background color to black okay and then the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to come over here and then let's add a container and drag and drop it here now for this container we're going to do the same set the content weight to full width and then for the width we're going to change the uniform percentage to pixel and give it a value of 300 okay and then for the minimal height we're going to give it a value of 400 okay all right so the next thing we're going to do here is uh, we're just going to come here we're going to call this here uh the parent container parent container and then uh, we're going to come over here and call this inner container. <laughs> okay. So now for this inner container here, we're going to go to the style option. And then we're going to come here and add a background image to it. First off, let's add the background image. And then um, let's select from our list of images. So um, the image I'm just going to add here will be the image of, uh, let's say, okay, this watch. All right, so let's go with it. Okay, so I'm going to come over here, set the position to center, center. And then for the repeat, set it to no repeat. And for the display size, I'm going to set it to cover. So we have the full image. Okay, now I'm going to come here and also add a color to it because this image is a product image and it has no background. Okay, so we're just going to add a white so that we give it a background and we see everything clearly. In your case, your image might have a background, your product image might have a background, or whatever image you're using might have a background. So it doesn't really matter. Okay. All right. So now that we've done this and everything looks fine, the next thing we're going to do is uh, we're just going to come over here and then we're going to drag a container and drop it right within this container here. Okay. Now for this container here, we're going to call this container the info box. I'm going to call it the info box container okay so now for this info box container what we're going to do is we're just going to come over here set the content weight to full width and then for the width we're going to change the uniform percentage to pixel and then give it a value of 300 and then a minimal height of 400 okay all right so now that we've done that the next thing we're going to do here is um we're just going to come over here and then we're going to drag content and drop it here so let's click on this plus icon here that we cannot see clearly but it's there all right, so we're just going to come here. Let's drag an icon and drop it here. Okay, then let's come over here and drag our icon box as well. And uh, let's drag and drop it here. Now, the reason I'm using an icon box, you could use a heading and a text widget, but I just want it to be fast and quick. So for this icon box, we're just going to delete the icon here. So we're going to make use of the icon only and then the heading and the description of this icon box okay so now that we've done that we're going to go back to this info box here and then go to the advanced settings and give it a pattern of 20 pixel all around okay and then we're going to go to the style option under the same info box and for the hover we're going to come here and then we're going to give it a background type set the background color to black okay and then let's if you hover now you can see it's black totally black but we, do, we don't want that let's reduce the opacity a little bit so we're just going to come here and drag it and drop it drag it towards this point and then when you hover you can still see a little bit of the image behind and then without black fill this looks better okay so now let's come back to the icon box and let's go to the style option for the content now let's come here for the header we're going to give it a color red okay and then for the description we're just going to set it to white okay so now when you hover this is what you get now let's style our icon now for our icon we're going to come here change the view to stack and then for the shape we're going to leave it at circle and then let's select an icon so the icon we're going to select here we're going to it's going to be the info icon okay this icon here we're just going to drag it and drop it here 
All right, now let's style it up. For the primary color, we're going to set the primary color to red. Okay. And then for the size, we're going to reduce the size to 20 pixel. So we'll have something that looks like that. Okay. Now for the alignment, we're going to align it to the left. And then for our icon box, we're going to go there and also align it to the left as well. All right. So this looks wonderful, as you can see. Okay. Now, the next thing we're going to do here is under this icon box, we're going to go back to the info box. Sorry. Now, for this info box, we're going to go to the advanced settings. Now, for the advanced settings, we'll come down to transform. Now, on this transform, we're going to come over here to the offset and then we're going to add an offset Y value. So, we're just going to give it an offset value of um, 320. Okay. Uh, this doesn't look nice. Let's increase it to 330. Not to worry about this overflow. We're going to fix it. Now, let's bring it to 330. Okay. So, now this is what we have. All right. So, now what we're going to do next is um, I'm just going to remove this overflow here. And to fix it, we're going to come over to this inner container here. For this inner container, we'll go to the layout. And then we're going to toggle this container and come down to the additional option. Now, for the overflow, we're just going to come here and set it to hidden. So, our overflow is not hidden. All right. So now let's go back to our info box now and let's come down to the transform okay so all right this is okay 330 is okay let's see yeah it's placed here well all right so now let's go to the hover now for the hover we'll go this to the same offset and then we're gonna under the offset why we're gonna give it a value of zero and then now that we've done that, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to come over to the duration and let's give the duration uh, 800 millisecond duration. Okay. So now let's come over here and then we hover. This is where you get. And when you take your cursor away, it comes down. So you can use this for your product to give a brief description or info uh, message about your product here. Okay. So uh, not to worry, I'm going to show you, I'm going to make another video whereby I will explain how to make this dynamic for your product. So I hope you watch the next video we'll be making about this same tutorial. So the reason I didn't combine it all is I don't want the video to be lengthy. So we've come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you've learned something new. And if you are new to our channel, remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified first when I drop a new video. And also remember to give this video a thumbs up and drop your comment wherever you are confused and I will do well to attend attend all questions or comments. So until then, see you on our next video. Bye bye.